Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? going to do today well first off what i'd like to do is i'd like to say a very warm thank you uh from the bottom of my heart thank you for uh everyone that has tuned in so far uh we have reached the first hundred episodes dun, 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 dun. and uh it's pretty damn exciting because um we're you know showing no signs of uh showing no signs of slowing down and what we're going to do is um we're going to be uh, essentially, um, you know, recording many different episodes covering many different topics. We're going to be expanding into uh, many of the other facets of the complete library, uh, including, as you've seen so far, contact and uh, machine, as well as a number of other instruments covering things like Massive X when it comes out and things of that nature. I'm also in contact with some developers and uh, creators of various reactor, reactor uh, instruments and um, other various instruments. And uh, what I'd like to do is start having guests appear on the show. I think that would be really awesome to uh, invite some guests on the show and have some have some conversations about some of the instruments and tools and, and the music creation process from many different perspectives. That would be a really awesome thing. So uh, big plans for the show. And uh, thanks very much for everyone that's tuned in so far. You know, I don't take any time typically during the show uh, until really after the screen goes black and maybe the last 10 seconds of uh, some of the episodes, there will be a subscribe link. So I never really take the opportunity to ask for this, but I, I'll take it now. Just, uh, you know, it'll help out the channel tremendously if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the little bell icon and uh, check out the new episodes when they come out. Uh, like them, comment on them. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know ideas for topics you would like me to cover. Questions that you might have, I try to get to as many comments, uh, positive uh, uh, things or criticisms and things of that nature as much as possible. Um, so I, again, appreciate uh, everyone that's tuned in so far and be sure to stay tuned for uh, what we're going to do in the future. For today, what we're going to do is explore a really simple concept of what it's going to take to set up reactor inside of machine and kind of combine these two worlds. So um, I'm going to set up a couple of groups. I may get a drum thing going, and if I do, I have some drum channels uh, set up uh, with my inputs already. I know I'm going to go ahead and input this sound, uh, or out, excuse me, output this sound to... Uh, uh, external, uh, external output number nine. So let's go ahead and open the browser and start, uh, browsing through, uh, the different instruments that we have. So what I'm going to do is open the drop down menu, which will drop down a number of categories, including drums or percussion, sampled instruments, specialize, and where we're going to find all our reactor instruments is synthesizers. And it's here among a number of other instruments, specialized instruments like Monarch and Prism and Rounds, which open in reactor, of course, uh, as well as your other specialized non-reactor instruments like Absinthe, uh, FM8, Massive, those kinds of things. What I want to do for today is load up a really simple Blocks Primes uh, preset. I think it's in the bass category. Um, and... You know what? I need to go ahead and turn my Wi-Fi back on. I thought I could have it disconnected for the episode, but let me go ahead and turn it back on. Uh, it's asking me to quit Pro Tools, which I don't want to do, but let me see if we can take care of this kind of during the recording. Who knows? We shall find out. Uh, but essentially what I want to do is open up one of these 
Uh, I thought it was in the base category. Let me see what the categories are. Uh, kick base? No. Not really that. Uh, not Maybe not even really base. Uh, what was the... Maybe synth... Let's see, no, not analog. How about sequenced? Yeah, here we go. So uh, I've got my um, I've got my browser, and I, I know I've saved this as a favorite, so I know it could immediately go to my favorites, but I just wanted to try to find where I could find it again and through the navigation. So you have a number of different types here that you can choose from, like bass and drums, sound effects, soundscapes. Uh, then you have characters, and well, the character I chose is sequenced looped because I know it's, it's like a sequenced part that I want to find. So let me start using the encoder. Again, I'm not going to focus on the hardware for this episode. I'm just going to focus on the software, how to get Reactor loaded up inside a machine, and how to get to some of the controls if you want to make some changes to Reactor Blocks, which is what I'm pulling up. Uh, and here we go. I know this is the, this is the one I'm going to choose, so I'm going to press on the encoder and load this sound. And um, let's see, we should have audio going on channel number nine. Here we go. And um, how I can get to that uh, sound or that synth is not on the group. You don't want to be here. You want to be on the sound. And then you can see Blocks Primes is running on here. So if I can open up the mixer, here we are, Blocks Primes. And I can click the little arrow option to pop this out. And so this now allows me to uh, have it in a popped out window. I can look at the controls. And I can also, you just use, uh, can use machine and the controller to control the notes and the root note, which is really awesome. Alright, so let's uh, see if we can see the wires, and there they are. So if we hit the plus sign, we can see the blocks, primes, wires. And also, I should be able to operate this just like normal. Yeah, here we go. So I can search for Toy Box. I can search for Euro React. Uh, we're not going to add anything. This is a pretty decent preset. I like these multi wave oscillators. I haven't played with these in a while. So let's just play with what we got here. Go ahead and hide these wires for now. And um, if we pin this back. What this will do is this will just go right back inside of machine. And um, I can get to the various controls within here as well. So let's see if I can... Really cool that I can use the mod wheel. actually make
better it's a little weird and now if we wanted to put a beat on it or something like that and i didn't do anything to the preset other than change it to a 12 step range instead of a 16 step range so i kind of like this sound and this particular sequence we'll leave it the way it is that's cool and then uh, right now i already have I already have the mod wheel opening up the uh, hall filter. Let's see if we can maybe learn this as well. we could go ahead and set up a little drum pattern so let's see what we got um, and I'm gonna just open up all groups let's see about uh, the London grits like. That bleeper is pretty cool. cool. What's Melton Vale like? to London Grid. I kind of liked some of the ones in that one, so let's... gonna go with deep mud and let's get off of browsing mode Also, we might want to set up the, uh, well, first off, my favorite color, and then we might want to set up the outputs. So let's go through and uh, get into output mode here for each sound. 
and go ahead and set up at least the first eight. We know we're going to use the first eight, so let's get these all set up. Starting with two, set up each corresponding pad, number six, seven, two, external, seven, and now external, eight. just a touch so let's let's do this let's not use the mixer let's, I figured out how to do this on a video the other day let's try okay so on the hardware and again I know this isn't a hardware based episode but this is for me I'm just learning sound level at this point. Yeah, I don't want it panned. Even though it was kind of cool. A sudden change. Alright, so um, without spending too much time, uh, I wanted to get kind of a groove going on this.
pathetic. I'm a little tired. And that's why we can edit MIDI in 2019. Right here.
heads down, but I want to record them. I want to record them nice and hot. That's nice. that same kind of pumping effect with just velocity. All I was doing was pressing down hard or not in some instances and that sounded way cool so I'm just emulating that for the entire for the entire uh, pattern for the entire pattern Nice And then let's duplicate that again rather that be um, much rather that be gated
pattern going on group B. I just realized that. I was like, pattern? There's nothing here. See that?
you for everyone tuning in. Big plans to keep going. Do this all the time. All the time. Sunday is every day. Can be. Guess to the next 100. 1,000. And on that note, until next time.